Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buzz and Suds. So, Prairie Bomb. This is one that uh, is fairly widely distributed, uh, really good, so we thought we'd pull it out and rate it. We're doing stouts, obviously, because it's getting kind of colder outside. Uh, this one clocks in at 13%, and it is 65 IBUs, pretty highly rated, 4.5 on uh, untapped. So, let's do it. Let's do it. Do it, do it. Wow, I, I mean, I get the chilly nose from here. Oh, really? Yeah. Not there yet. <laughs> but anyway, pitch black. It is. Um, it doesn't hold to the yeah, glass. Hold, yeah, not really. It's a little, at least. But it's still dark. Yeah, it's like still dark. Said. Just a little thinner as far as the uh, the retention goes. Let's get the nose on it. Yeah. He's already got me some. Wow. I, I yeah, get I get it now. I get I big get chili. <laughs> Yeah, man, I was telling him beforehand, the first time I had this, I didn't get much chili, I didn't get much of the pepper flavor at all, or nose, and I was a little disappointed, but now it's, yeah. I'm getting nothing but chili. I agree. You get anything else? Well, what are we supposed to get, coffee? Yeah. So cacao nibs, vanilla beans, and chili so, peppers. All right, so we got coffee, Cacao, vanilla. Yeah. Okay, so we got four things to go for. <laughs> I get chili. Yeah, maybe a little bit vanilla. I mean, there's something in the background there. Yeah, there's something. I, I just get chili. But I mean, it smells good. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's kind of complex. Yeah, it, I was going to say the same thing. I mean, the chili's there, but it's not the forefront. I mean, I get a little bit of chocolate, vanilla. I mean, I get the malt for sure, and just the chili is kind of a like a afterthought. Yeah, it's weird. The um, this is one of those cases where the, the 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 flavor is a little different than the aroma. I'm getting mm -hmm. I'm getting coffee, mm -hmm. a little yeah, cocoa. I do a little chocolate. And then there's just kind of that that feel on your tongue, like when you're, you know, you got some pepper in your food. That's what this is. That's that a uh, little peppery note on the on the. It's just kind of the front, the middle of my tongue, actually. Yeah, but it doesn't really linger that much. I mean, it, it's not super spicy. It's good. I like it. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting for me, the coffee's kind of standing out on the flavor, yeah, actually. I'm getting um, coffee first now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very complex. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's changing with sips, but I think if I had to pick a predominant flavor, it'd be coffee, but mm. again, yeah, I, it's I would, all there. It's. I would agree. The coffee is, is in the forefront right now. Maybe espresso, because I know yeah. espresso can sometimes have that, you know, peppery. No, now I a little vanilla. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm, yeah, I'm enjoying good. this. This is this is really cool. Um, you know, I, we read it, and I, 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 I would have loved if I could have picked it all out without even knowing what I was <laughs> drinking. I'm not sure I could have. But any other uh, any other flavors though, other than the ones? Hmm. It's a little sweetness there. Yeah, I still get mm. mostly coffee and then a little bit of pepper on the back end. Yeah. I, mean, I can tell it's a stout. Uh, it's the mouthfeel though. It's not quite as smooth and thick as most stouts, but it's not a porter. I mean, you can tell it's a stout. So now that you've tasted it, smell it again. See if you get predominantly pepper again. I don't. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's hilarious. So, so maybe this is what happened to me the first time. I don't. I don't know. <sighs> it's almost kind of like vanilla, coffee. a little boozy coffee. Yeah, I get some coffee. Yeah, I'm getting kind of like a vanilla, a vanilla and a little bit of coffee, uh, maybe a little bit of booziness. I do get some vanilla. <laughs> well, now I don't feel like, and then boom, coffee. <laughs> wow. That's big so coffee now I don't flavor. feel so bad because I was like, where is this pepper? And, and then the first smell I get is pepper, and then now, I mean, there's still pepper there, don't get me wrong, but. Yeah. Gosh, that's funny. That's good. Uh, that's a it's nice well complex beer. It's a well balanced beer. This is a fun beer to drink. I'm enjoying this. Uh, my rating's gonna be a four or five. Yeah, me too. Four or five. I like it. Yeah. Anything else? Um, <laughs> I'd like to get the chocolate. 
They, I mean, they've got cacao nibs. Uh, yeah. All right, let's just sit here until we get chocolate. Okay. We're going to bore you until we get chocolate. Hmm. There's so much there. Yeah, I, I just get the coffee. I, I do get vanilla. I get vanilla more and more, and the, too. The pepper, I guess my pepper receptors are kind of coated because I don't get those <laughs> much anymore. <laughs> But that's, that's weird. It's really good. I, I'll stick with a four or five. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with a four or five as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, you need you need to try this if you haven't. Um, nice complex beer. We're basically getting everything on it just at different times. Yeah, and, and this one you should be able to if you're in the distribution for artisan. I mean, you should be able to get this one. Uh, maybe they're like pirate bomb. It's harder to get. Or Christmas bomb, harder to get. But this one, it's pretty easy to and get. And the one that's probably. Maybe the best uh, rated one, Apple Brandy Barrel Bomb. Oh, I've not had that one. I've had a little bit. Mm. It was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> rub it in, rub it in. Oh, uh, it was delicious. But this is great. As yeah. always, guys, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.